Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News at 6. A move tonight to legalize and tax marijuana use in New York. State lawmakers want to put pot smoking on par with drinking alcohol and let taxpayers profit. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has details on the pot proposal. Just call it taking the high road. State lawmakers plan on introducing a bill that would legalize pot smoking and turn it into a cash cow. We really need to move beyond our totally broken prohibition model to a sensible tax and regulate model. Assembly Health Committee Chairman Richard Gottfried signing on to a bill by Senator Liz Krueger that would make New York the most populous state in the country to regulate and tax marijuana for general use. I think it's widely recognized that marijuana is at most uh, nowhere near as potentially harmful as alcohol. And our law is dishonest. Gottfried says state lawmakers want to treat pot smoking just like having a drink. Set an age limit, regulate it, and tax it. Yes, City Comptroller involved. John Liu, who has studied the issue, says that, the economic impact from a pot tax is, well, mind-boggling. We have close to a million people who use it on a regular basis. Liu estimates that a pot tax would generate $431 million in New York City alone. 69 million would go to the state and the MTA in the form of higher sales taxes, and the city would also save 31 million dollars from reduced law enforcement and court costs. There's unfair enforcement, particularly against minorities, against minority youth. And the reality is that people are using it. The medical experts say that it is not as addictive or dangerous as alcohol. You know, marijuana has not, does not get people into a violent state, whereas unfortunately alcohol does. Addiction experts disagree, saying it's a gateway drug. Marijuana is a dangerous drug. Why would we want to make a dangerous drug available uh, to the public? Now, I know a lot of people will disagree with me and say alcohol is more dangerous. Alcohol is the most dangerous drug, but that doesn't mean we should put another dangerous drug on the market. Supporters of the bill point out that since Mayor Bloomberg took office, there have been nearly 40, 460,000 misdemeanor marijuana arrests, largely members of the black and Hispanic communities. Comptroller Luce says that minorities represent less than half of the pot users in the city, but 86% of the arrests. Hmm. Dana. Taking that all in, Marsha, thanks.